Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it's another episode on, on the lookout. My second episode this uh, for this series. Um, today it's a big huge coming out bright in this one and I sat Chris Hewton. Um You know, with Chris Hewton, it's probably a right decision by Brighton. Um, you know, they secured Premier League safety by the skin in their teeth, if Cardiff didn't lose to Crystal Palace, then Brighton would be sitting in the Championship uh, for next season. Um, purely neutral football fans' perspective, I do believe it's the right decision by Brighton to let Chris to go. He's got them up to the Premier League, that's basically all he's good for. Um, you know, he, he gets teams up, and then most of the time they either go back down or get rid of Chris anyway and then stay in the Prem. But, you know, he's a good championship manager. If you're a championship team and you need a manager, he will definitely be on your radar. Um, a few disappointments uh, why possibly Brighton let Chris Shooting go. I'll get through them um, and I'll get to the other bits as well through in this bit. Uh, so they lost 4-2 to fill them off going two goals up. Two goals up Brighton were, um, and then they threw the lead away and lost 4-2. Brighton's second season, they need to beat teams like Fulham. Obviously gone back down now, uh, but, you know, let's, Brighton only survived by the skin of their teeth. Uh, you know, if uh, Palace there beat Cardiff, then Brighton would be sitting in the championship now. So, you know, that's possibly three points they would have wanted um, as well. Uh, losing 3 1 to Burnley. Um, yeah, again, another struggling team this season they struggled to beat. Um, so, you know, you can tell roughly where this is going. <laughs> And um, there's not a, not a lot of high pointers, but I'll go point out my high pointers now. Uh, Brighton making it to Wembley for the first time since 1983. Um, and then you got uh, beating Crystal Palace uh, at home and away, six points over their local rivals, or rivals, I wouldn't say local. Um, but that's about as much as the highest go. Beating United through right at the start of the season. Um, but, you know, that's how really how high it goes. Uh, but only beat Huddersfield by one goal at the MX, uh, by the Huddersfield defence falling, like, literally asleep, didn't know what's going on. Only draw with Millwall after 90 minutes, obviously that game leaded them to Wembley, um, after penalties. Losing Southampton 1-0 at the MX. Yet again, another team that really struggled this year. Uh, and possibly another three points that Albion possibly needed. Um, and then we come to something unbelievable like this. They lost 5-0 to Bournemouth at the MX Stadium. Um, Bournemouth, you know, they wanted to play Brighton, weren't there? Uh, to be honest... Bournemouth did look like Barcelona. Um, that's not an understatement, by the way. Uh, losing 2-0 to Cardiff at home. Um, you know, Cardiff went down, but yet again, three points that Brighton would have needed to stay up uh, if Cardiff beat Man Like, if what happened at Cardiff uh, beat Man United, that three points could have kept Cardiff up. Put on the other foot, that three points would have kept Brighton up. Um, and only drawing with Newcastle one all at the Amex Stadium. Um, you know, so there's a lot of downers there. Um, I ain't going to beat around the bush, but who do I think next in charge? Well, you have to wait and see to run the lookout. And I'm, I'm literally doing the same thing as you all are, keeping an eye out. Uh, to see who it possibly could be. I've got a few names in mind, but I ain't going to say anything until the actual appointment is due, or it's been announced. So guys, I've got to end this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.
Ciao for now.